at Mad Hungry LSQ, which is short for Lucinda Scala Quinn, is. is bringing us something brand new from the Spurtle world. It's a Spurtle Myrtle. It's a Spurtle Myrtle, and this is our super spoon, my dear. It's a brand new tool. It does what all of the Mad Hungry tools does, which it is multi-use. David, let me just show you something very quickly. Please. See these tools? One, two, three, four, five. They're all great tools, but this super spoon does them all. It, it replaces all five of these tools. Yes, it grates, it strains, it mashes. I can't wait to show you. Just tell me when I can it jump whisks. right in. It whisks. It serves, it, it serves. strains, it does all those things. But it also allows you to do some grating of fresh ginger into your sweet potatoes. How many of you are going to be doing that this weekend for Easter, right? I mean, the reason that we made this is because how many times does it want, like, uh, I don't know, an inch of fresh ginger? And you're not going to get a grater out, right? You don't want to go get a grater out. Same with garlic. It does the same thing. So you can just do that. And then when it comes to mashing, you just mash. Mash, look. And I have to say, I don't know about you, but these potato mashers here, they always get stuck in the drawer. They take up a lot of room in the crock. So I like the idea of something that mashes and then also stirs, right? Now, how best to clean this once it gets dirty? Yeah, uh, you can just do it with soap and water, but it's dishwasher safe, which is wonderful. Comes in a beautiful branded gift box. So if you're thinking about using yes. this uh, as a gift idea, maybe for, oh, I don't know. High school, college graduations right around the corner. And you know, Mother's we made, Day, Father's Day. We made that nice box because I wanted you to not have to explain it, so that people could say how cool it is. It's all right here. I'm straining this broccoli out right here, David. But let me show you one more thing. If I put the broccoli in the bowl, and then I just want a squeeze of lemon, but I really don't want those pits. It does or that. Seeds. That's what I mean. The seeds. See, it catches the seeds. These are things that, like, I don't want to get a whole new tool out. Now right? let me talk about colors because these are going very quickly. Everyone gets. It's a pretty gift box. Yes. So if you're uh, if you're interested in uh, picking up a couple of these and uh, putting them away in your gift closet, then you will get the box that comes along with it. We have these in gray, most popular. I also have red. Here is the turquoise. 950 left in the turquoise, and finally the violet. 675. Now there's a second tool here that yes is deep and wide, uh, deep and long, I should say. Yes, this is a spurtle because we're, you know, spurtles are our flagship. And you can see, you know why we love our spurtles. It gets right down where the bottom of the pan meets the 15th side. 15th century, 16th century. 16th century. Scotland. Scotland, but they were in wood. And this is two tablespoons. So, for instance, if you wanted to measure two tablespoons of oil or something, you to could do that. To go in with your broccoli. Exactly. Right. And if you want to spurtle, for instance, over here, you mentioned the, uh, you know, the, the original use. You can stir and get all of that going on. Now, this is rice pudding. This is it? rice pudding, but you can see you can spoon it because it has a spoon feature. So, that's what makes this spurtle so wonderful. It does everything that all the spurtles do. Do it gets in there and stirs. 300 of these are now gone. Lucinda okay. is a New Yorker. I Lucinda am. Lucinda also doesn't have scads of room in her kitchen, so she needs a tool that'll do multiple jobs, right? That's right. Here I am with garlic. Now that's another thing. I don't necessarily want to have to get out a knife and chop a bunch of stuff. So here I have already one and that clove opens of the garlic. Of all the flavor, right? It's and look at it. It doesn't have chunks. And then if I'm making sauce, for instance, I can put like the whole tomatoes in there, start cooking. Oop! I can make a mess, and then I can start to smash. And that's what makes it beautiful because it smashes. Those are those Roma or scrapes. plum tomatoes that are so delicious. Hey, we are very, very busy with this item. Lucinda does not play when she creates a new spurtle, right? Oh. How many are gone now, Sean? 600. Here's gray, most popular. 1,500 left in the gray. Here's red. 1,400. Turquoise. 800. And finally, violet. Final 500. These are coated in silicone, except for the top of the super spoon that's made of a hard dishwasher safe nylon. So all this goes into your dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup if you don't have time to do a quick rinse with warm soapy water. Exactly. This is what makes it so perfect. Now, what if we wanted to whisk eggs for a frittata or omelet? Well, this is where we're replacing a whisk for this. But one more thing is how many times when you boil eggs do you have to get them out of that hot water? And the way or this pierogies is or any, ravioli. The way this is pitched is it lets you bring them over and also when you are going to boil, you cannot just dump them in there. You have to gently let them in crack. there. Exactly. But meanwhile over here, I'm going to whisk. I'm going to take the same super spoon I'm going to whisk and I'm going to make some scrambled eggs and then I can just get them. You can see I already have them all whisked up just like Perfect. that, right? So we get them in here. 
Now, what if I wanted to make garlic mashed? Well, if you... I take my garlic clove and just go right over this right little Right on grater, the top right? part. That's right. Look at this. And it's all nice and fine. And when I get that garlic clove down to almost nothing... I want my fingers to smell like garlic so no vampires will chase me. <laughs> then I'm going to take all of it and pop it right into the bowl. And then I'm going to use my super spoon to mash these exactly. potatoes. Maybe I'll add some butter and some cream, too. Why not? You know what? The thing is, is in the kitchen, and here I am with the regular spurtle, and you can see here in the pan, Pardon my it's, you're also not going to ruin your beautiful nonstick pans. And that's a super big thing, well, is that we don't want to be using right? metal. So this is the, again, two tablespoons in this one, right? Have we ever offered the super spoon before? Oh, I know this is a brand new tool. That's brand what's so exciting about tool. it. Exactly. And let me, let me uh, talk to you about colors and 1,300 of these are gone. We are very, very busy. Now, I know Lucinda is working full tilt to get more of these in, but in case we don't get them in for yeah. months, get yours now. Go ahead and get it because you will get the beautiful gift box that these come in, right? So maybe pick up a couple and toss one in your gift, your gift closet. I have it in gray. 1,200 left in the gray. Here's red. 1,200. Turquoise. 650. And finally, the uh, purple. 350 now left in the purple. If we sell out of a color, we're going to take it away. I don't know when we're going to get it back. Maybe we'll get it back this year. It's early. Maybe we won't. And so it's hard to know. So go ahead and grab what you're going to need tonight. Exactly. This is the strainer function. You could think about any number of things that could be here. Pasta. It could be vegetables. It could be peas. And then you can strain it in there. But I always, this is the thing that as a cook, and I cook every day, David, is that I don't want to have to go find the strainer. But look, I can catch those pits there. You know what our fancy food stylists do here when they want us to squeeze lemon on something? They wrap the lemon halves in cheesecloth. Well, that's. A I don't have cheesecloth in my house. You could hold a gun to my head. I couldn't tell you where cheesecloth well, is. Your wonderful, you know, chefs in the kitchen, they are smart because this is some of the restaurant tricks. At home, we got to pull, like, look at all this. A grater, a whisk, a potato masher, a spoon, a slotted spoon. This little engine that could is doing all of those. And that's only those. one that's of the two tools that you're getting. Exactly. In fact, you can finish up those eggs while I just... 2,000 of these are gone. One more time show. And it's also all about the pitch here, David. There are slotted spoons. There are all kinds of things. But I worked very hard to be able to have the bottom hold the egg. But then again, if I'm going to be over here mashing, I need to make sure that I have enough space to mash. Look I at this. I have some nice scramble. I, oh, there some you scramble. go. And I, I got some scramble. And this has, you know, I made this the other day. I was doing something on social media. And all I did was put some ginger salt, and I, I ate the whole thing for dinner. It was so good. Here, throw a little and bit then look, of this in there, too. A little butter, why not? And then nice. you can use it. The thing I like about this, as opposed to a regular masher, is that you can use the spoon to scoop it over, and then you start mashing. And then again. mash again. Exactly. This and is that, dynamic. Many of you are going to be making, so, as I call them, sweets. This doesn't happen with this. It's for your Easter awkward. dinner. This is now half gone, Miss Lucinda. Oh dear. I want to show everybody it's going to replace this many things. Now, we all have a, we have a grater in our house. We have a whisk, we have a masher, we have a solid spoon, we have a slotted spoon. How would you like one tool that will el eliminate all this? You could donate this. <laughs> That's what's going to make it great. I don't want you to miss out that you will get a box. Oh yes. So if you Wonderful want to gift. buy a couple of these and tuck one away in the gift closet, that's fine. I have it in the gray. If you want gray, I have 950 left red. 900 left. Turquoise, 400 left. And if you want purple, I have 120 left in the purple. I am feeling the purple this year. And I don't know why. And you know, the spurtle spoon right here is a two tablespoon measure for those that want to know. I just put some olive oil in there. And your maters. And your tomatoes. Yep. Yep. All right. Hey, we are all out of time. Lucinda Scarlaquin, so good to see you again. Thank if we you, want to follow dear. you on Instagram, how do we do that? At Mad Hungry, where I'll be super spooning and spurtling my brains. And out. Her, her Insta stories are worth the trip. Oh, Aww. so good. So good. Hey, we're going to check in.